Welcome back to What's Inside. Today we are going to show you what's inside of a very unique Costa Rican airplane hotel or vacation rental. Behind me is a 727 that was actually brought into the middle of the jungle with a crane and placed here and then completely retrofitted on the inside to be a beautiful Airbnb or VRBO, whatever you want to call it. Last night we slept inside of this thing. Today we want to show you what's inside of this beautiful airplane rental home. There is a nice roof that covers the top of this and that covers both the patios. There's patio on both sides. So they've cut out a giant section of the airplane. Maybe this is where the door used to be and they put in this wooden door. Look how beautiful the view is. You've got an airplane and then the beach it is right down there with little islands. So we arrived last night around 11 o'clock. It was dark, it was kind of hard to see the whole thing and it's exciting to see it during the day, but it was quite the travel process to get here. So much so that it's almost noon and check out Lincoln. Good morning, buddy. Good morning. Here's the main room. It does have two queen size beds inside with Lincoln sleeping inside of it. And you can see the windows they don't have shades on them, and so it does get bright quite easily. Somehow Lincoln has slept through it all until noon. I woke up at like 7 for like 30 minutes when the sun came up, and then I was just like, I'm going back to bed. Then I hid under the covers yeah. for a bit, and then I was just like, yeah, I'm just going to close my eyes and hope that works, and it did. So <laughs> I got sleep. You can sleep even with the sun coming in. You have a safe over here to protect your valuables. We have the air conditioner running at 62 degrees to keep you cool. Everything in here is wooden, including the chandeliers. You've got that with that wooden chandelier, this fan, another fan, and another chandelier here. The walls are all wooden and they go all the way around circular. The lights above the bed all have these Grey Goose vodka bottles that are attached on the chain. Kind of a nice touch for a plain wrecked jungle hotel place. <laughs> is that your definition of it? <laughs> now one of the best parts about this place is that they did not get rid of the actual cockpit. If you think about an airplane, there's that door, then there's the small cockpit, and then what's the first thing that you see as you exit the cockpit? It's usually a bathroom. Well, they decided to stay true to that, and now you've got a bathroom in the cockpit. So here's your shower with a giant window looking out into the jungle. And then you have a full bathroom inside of here with the toilet. All the instrumentation is gone except for these foot pedals over here. The windows are sealed shut, but you can look outside of the windows and you can see the jungle and the ocean and the beautiful things that are out there. You guys know Lincoln. This is his friend Kai that's been in a lot of videos. Yep. We're actually spending time as families. Our families get in today and we're gonna go spend time at the beach and spend four or five days in Costa Rica with them. But we thought it'd be fun to spend one night in this unique hotel to, so we can show you guys what this airplane hotel looks like. Can I go see the cockpit now? Lincoln has not seen the cockpit in the daytime. Yeah, the I saw it at night, but it's just black. It's All right, amazing. go ahead boys, hop in there. Whoa, there's like a little island out there. That's cool. Whoa. So, oh look, there's a little guy out there. You see him? He's on like a jet ski. You have two giant wooden dressers that I don't even know how they got into this place. A couple of queen size beds with a nice dresser in between. There is a wireless router in every single room with actually quite fast Wi-Fi. It's like 20 download and 35 upload. Really good for being in the jungle in an airplane, I think. So this is the first main room with the two queen size beds. And when you leave that room, you enter the main part of the airplane with the two doors that go to both patios. The TV, a giant window, a nice little sitting area with a futon chair. Oh, this chair's cool. I like how it's like circular. So you can sit here in the plane at nighttime on your nice cozy chair and you can watch your favorite show. Maybe Lost sounds good to you? Yeah. Up the three stairs and you come into the main area with the dining room table, the main door to go out to the first patio where you first walk in. I think any of you ever seen a sloth before? Let's bring out it, the cutest sloth. No, I really want to though. All right, go out there on the porch. I did see one this morning. Let's see if we can still find it. Oh, it's so nice and warm out. It's so warm. Wow. Where is it? Sloth again, kind of hard to see, but when he moves. There you go. That's a sloth. 
He was just moving slowly. Hey, sloth. Maybe you have to talk. If you talk to him in that voice, he usually likes to move. Right, Kai? You've been here for longer than I have. Yeah, I've never talked to a sloth, though. A full-sized kitchen, and nothing inside of the fridge, a sink, we have a toaster, garbage, stove, cooking top, a coffee maker. Just beyond the kitchen, you see another door, and when you open it up, you come into the second bedroom suite. This is the room that I slept in last night. It's a nice queen-sized bed, super comfortable, has its own air conditioning unit. You're a little bit tucked into the jungle more back here, so this room doesn't get as bright as early. This airplane hotel is a two-bedroom, two-bath place. Here is the second bathroom, and it's cool because it's in the caboose of the airplane, the very, very back. And so it's a little bit smaller. Come on inside. Here is the second bathroom, and it's so cool. Check out the shower, where the shower head points straight down to you. And then outside, this is not glass. This is just open to the outside engine exhaust area of the airplane. When I showered this morning, I had to make the decision. Do I want this open with the fresh air coming in, or do I want to have, protect my privacy and have it covered? I chose to have it open. One nice touch about this is that if you look up into the roof, you can see out into the top of the airplane and out through the roof. It doesn't take you long to walk across the entire length of the airplane. This is the bathroom, and then you walk right into the second bedroom, up a few stairs to the patio. What's up, Lincoln? Hi. Into the kitchen, to the dining room. Couple of go down a couple of steps, and you're down into the family room. And now here we are, into the master suite with two beds inside of it. And the amazing, awesome cockpit. The cockpit with the bathroom inside of it. Underneath the airplane, you can see where the electrical boxes all come down and to the hot water and cold water heater. And you can even see the landing gear is down and ready to roll. This airplane is part of a bigger hotel property. So you get all the amenities of a real hotel. There's a swimming pool, there's like an exercise area. The reason why you come to Costa Rica is not exactly to stay inside of a beautiful airplane hotel. That's a fun part of it, but it's to go to the beach. So we are off to the beach. We're gonna have fun, go spend some time with the family. And if you ever wanna stay here, we'll put a link in the description. This is not a sponsored video, we just thought it'd be super unique. This will range anywhere from $300 to $500 a night, which is not bad considering that you have a two bedroom, two bath hotel. You're in an actual airplane in the jungle, not too far from the beach. Definitely think it's worth the money. Yeah, just like even staying it like for like one night like we did. It was so cool, I loved it. I chose to have it open.